Hi Linda, this is uh, the video I put together. Uh, the x-rays were excellent. Thank you very much for that. Um, I have a longer version of this, but I just don't have time to go into all the editing and everything, but um, that part of the lateral foot, foot with a fracture is, is actually adhered to the front of the hoof wall like, we, like you initially suspected. The rest of it has kind of rotated down and prolapse the sole on the medial side. Just finishing up uh, the rear shoe. Okay, the shoe is done. Basically, we rolled off the whole front of the, the toe. I grounded out the uh, medial side of the, the shoe where the, la the uh, sole was prolapsed. I didn't want any pressure there. Um, on site there, I marked the spot where the sole was prolapsed and you can see where the fracture is and it actually has uh, almost a normal concavity to the coffin bone, the fractured part of the coffin bone. Close up from this way, down here. So at this point I have a uh, perfectly uh, flat shoe but the high point looking at down at the foot is that, that sole which is very thin. I uh, tried to uh, level it a little bit, but it was getting too soft. You can actually see a demarcation where the co coffin bone is pushing into the sole. Where the coffin bone is the sole. So that, that was as far as I was going to the sole. So the dental impression material is going to start supporting the whole sole using the other good parts of the foot. So we want to relieve this pressure here. <laughs> I uh, tried leveling the sole, but the shoe was still rocking with full pressure on that uh, prolapse part of the sole. So I uh, took it back to the grinder. At this point I got the shoe sitting pretty uh, flat, but there was no clearance at all, so when the horse was standing on the shoe, the sole would be pushing into it, or end into the uh, pad. Hair so, got some Play-Doh on the part of the uh, foot where I didn't have to super fast and build up the hoof wall. Just a couple of minutes, I was able to level the uh, hoof wall and have lots of clearance at the toe, so there would be no pressure when I put the shoe on. Uh huh. And it's real soft now, but it become very cushiony for the horse. Do you leave it on there? It's going to be underneath this pad. Oh, okay. Is that the lame foot? Yes. Apparently he had a broken bone in there that we did not know. Really? Yeah, it must have happened when he was over, you know, at the other farm. And um, Pat and Doug Pink, and Dr. Mosler came out, and Dr. Mosler took him.
dust back there. What's that stuff? This is soup, uh, tough stuff. Oh, okay. It's a sealant. Mm -hmm. I'd like you to sand and do this to your horse once a week. Okay. Especially around the nail holes. Alrighty. And when you're doing it, if you start seeing these clinches come up, mm. they're flat to the wall. Mm -hmm. If they start coming out, give me a call and we'll check it out. It's different, it's heavier for them. Yeah. Yeah, it's cool. Kind of like when you put on boots. Let's do it with a little more pace now. Okay. slow motion. Um, the horse looked pretty comfortable to me, my uh, young videographer, my daughter. <laughs> she, she was looking at the feet at this point. Uh, I didn't instruct her to look at the whole horse, so I do apologize for that. Anyway, uh, very cool uh, working with you on this one. Um, the the x-rays, now that I get to see them here on the big screen, uh, is pretty clear. Uh, how that fracture is attached to the front of the coffin bone and the rest of it's rotated. Um, I don't know if that uh, prolapse can ever be uh, corrected, but I probably want to keep some long uh, hoof wall uh, to put a shoe on there and not have pressure. Anyway, talk to you soon. Bye.